What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Jiu Jitsu Junction podcast. My name is Andre, and I'm here with my buddy Chase. And the topic today that we're going to be discussing is Is Jiu Jitsu getting too soft? <laughs> yes and no. Yes and no? Yes and no. Yeah, uh, people are very concerned with Jiu Jitsu becoming very watered down. Um, and becoming, you know, it's it's more accessible now. Like you see a lot of families doing it. You have just more general interest, which means that it has to be more accessible to a greater part of the population, right? It, there's a demand, so they're just fulfilling that demand. Yeah. But uh, I would say that the majority of people who are joining jujitsu are like office workers, IT guys, all of these people who can afford to do jujitsu, but who don't typically have an athletic background but i mean uh that's that's where the mass I, I didn't when i first looked at the notes of what we were going to go over i didn't even have the thought that uh that i just had about it you know and it's uh i get shielded in, in my view when i when i talk about jujitsu i get shielded in my view of jujitsu because man I've, I've been in the place i'm in you know and, and we're different you know and uh, it's funny with cultish, whatever, that when it comes to jujitsu cultures, but you know, it's a, I would say we have a jujitsu culture. You know, we, we our jujitsu guys are, are, it's different. You know, and even when we go compete, our jujitsu looks different. Um, you know, so I get I kind of shielded by the way our jujitsu is, but I think about, you know, uh, just in my coaching, losing kids, you know, and, you know, kids go to other, and it's the one thing that the parents say is that, yeah, but it's a it's a lot softer and it's it's nicer and uh, it's it's better for the kid, you know. And they're going to this place that it just looks nice. It's got colorful carpet and the air condition, and they're all wearing the same gi, and they're getting a stripe every three months. And my kids don't even know what belt colors are. Well, they they know because my kid brags about his gray belt because he got it before we ended up coming to train with right, you. Right, <laughs> so I, I don't know if I'm on the right side or the wrong side of things, right? Like, I, yeah. because it's like, you know, uh, I got a 16-year-old who's been training with me for six, seven years, and he got his blue belt before he turned 16, and he's probably a purple belt already. Like, yeah, he feels like a purple belt. Yeah, you know, and, and, and we really, so, yeah, it, it's just a, and that's just in jiu-jitsu. Yeah. You know, well, so I do have a different – I didn't think about why I have felt the way I felt about the question at first. Yeah. So keep, how, keep rolling through. How, the, how much of that do you think is that we have an MMA base versus um, having a different mindset about we have a real We have a real, uh, a real life base. Like it's not uh, – there is no sugarcoating. There is no – um, extra stuff. There's no, there's no seating yeah. at the gym we go to because we go to a gym where you train martial arts. And you know, my, my our instructor talks about a uh, self defense. You know, like self defense that you you can really only learn to fight. Like that's building real scaffolding. Everything else is not building real scaffolding. Like you're building stuff against a scenario. You know, like you got to learn to defend yourself. Kind of, that's the way to learn to defend yourself is the fight. So everything is geared towards a fight. So it adds in a little bit extra, I guess, intensity to yeah. it. You know, and there's not a lot of fluffiness around it. Right. Uh, I think that the way you're describing it really, it sounds like um, it's the parent. The, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> of course, of course, Chase. Uh, the it sounds like the parents have a different goal. You have a different goal. The kids don't get they they when they get older they have their own goals. Otherwise, they just do what they're told, right? Yep. So I think that that same principle applies to adults who yeah. are doing martial arts, right? So <laughs> I like sure. if you've worked all day. <laughs> do you want to? You know, it, it's hard. Like if you're just doing this for fun, like it's hard to pass up the school that you ride by that has the glass window and you can see all the 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 geese. Yeah, I went. Um, I went to one of those. Yeah, schools you know, it's first, hard to yeah. pass that up. They got a little cubby for your shoes, and you know, um, it's hard to pass that up to go down the hill or you know into a little alley yeah. for for a class. You know, but I, I was in Belgrade, Serbia, and I'm telling you, if you're ever in Belgrade, Serbia, there's the Tenth Planet, Belgrade. You literally walk down an alley, 
and it's underneath a parking lot. <laughs> it's underneath a parking lot. Like, underneath a parking lot. That's interesting. It's awesome. Yeah, it's like the, it kind of goes up above it, and you walk, and it's underneath. I got. I'll show you pictures on. Um, when I get a good screen, that'd be cool to be like show like oh look it's really <laughs> yeah. cool you know like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it, yeah so yeah so so it 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 feels like there's like different different goals different uh, motivations for doing it and that happens when you start going beyond like kind of a niche population which it used to be like jujitsu proving itself against all the all the other martial arts you know yeah. it's like. Okay, we're better than judo. We're better than this. We're like the early the early UFCs and things like that. It's like jujitsu versus the world, right? Yeah. And it was like very it was good market. That was a good like 10, 20 year market experience. It was it was extremely yeah. effective. Was and that's why we're here today. Yeah, <laughs> right? right. So like, yeah. Goodness, that was yeah. good. Yeah. So like they had they had something to prove and they started proving it and it was all like effective fighting system, right? And that's if if you guys remember, or like we'll do, do a little minor history lesson. Karate was like that, like real karate from a few decades ago, when there weren't that many martial arts in town. Martial arts in general was pretty niche, right? So karate used to produce some serious badasses, and like they could just like mop the floor with most people. They would they would do okay against like trained boxers because they were training in real live settings like they had like the same thing with like taekwondo and all of them they were they were before they became gamified and the slant of what they were trying to achieve changed they were pretty they were pretty scary guys they were they were fighters and martial artists and now it seems like they're being transformed into family friend friendly things uh character developing um you still learn skills that are applicable uh to those situations but there are just other options that do it better you know a, a well-rounded jujitsu guy will do better wrestlers real kickboxers they'll they'll all do better nowadays than like the new school karate point yeah. fighting system right for sure but before they used to be they used to be <clears throat> it okay. used to be different right and people are concerned about jujitsu becoming like that because we're just going we're creating a much broader base of people who are doing it man no it makes sense i've definitely seen it evident you know and again until we sat down right now i didn't really think of it this way but I, i've watched it you know in, in our adult we competed for the past probably six years. You know, I mainly went with all the adults and <clears throat> sorry. Um, and I've kind of watched it like we, yeah, I've watched that change and I watched the change of competitors. And now the, I think the the competitors that are the more intense and stuff, like they're, they're moving maybe the other way. Cause they like the, the ADCCs and stuff, the, the combat jujitsu, you know, there's a really, really intense and in that's starting to, yeah. tighten up but no uh owner general i mean really I, i've lost a couple kids to and literally the thing is when it looks it, but the, but it's nicer and you know all the kids are getting belts and they're getting stripes and yeah and their instructors won't <laughs> let yeah. their kids come and train with our kids because uh, they might get trashed might they do <laughs> that's usually the well i'm just being I, nice. i'm thankful <laughs> yeah no understood no it's it's well i mean it's on the mats listen yeah. uh we had you know, I have conversations all the time. Same conversations I've had with an adult. You know, most of the time it's funny. I have conversations with kids, but there's not many conversations I don't have the same ones with adults. Adults have the same emotional issues. And, you know, uh, so I have the same, okay, listen, like, here you, you can't do that. Like, yeah. it's it's real. I'm sorry. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a <clears> lot <throat> of truth on the mats when the uh, yeah. the other person that you're grappling with is going to make you face your truth. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, we we had a we had an instructor bring some of their their uh, students in, and um, he's trying to transition their school from kind um, of the that tra the traditional thing. Yeah, to... I love it. He's got a cool idea. You know, it's a yeah. blend of modern and uh, you know traditional. But he's trying to trans the, the modern is man learn how to really fight, learn how to really yeah. you know moving away from that traditional look. 
Yeah, the point, so the points real. based fighting, yeah. yes, that sir. that kind of thing. Like yeah. there's there's two two ways that those traditional martial arts go. We got training for light contact points based stuff, and then just like the kind of like the drop off yeah. daycare thing yeah. where they're they're learning to focus and and like behave a certain way, and that's valuable, one hundred percent valuable. And there's a there's a place for it. Not not every kid is going to be able to walk yeah. into your uh, MM, youth MMA class and like thrive unless they have the right temperament or the right parents behind them. Oh yeah, yeah. There's so many factors when it comes. To yeah. Kids. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I I don't really think that it is very feasible for uh, jujitsu to get really too soft hmm. because there's very frequent opportunities for people to be humbled yeah. um, and want to do better. Yeah. And, right? and there'll be, there'll be schools uh, that'll, that, that'll, you know, shy you away from going and competing. Um, there'll be schools that'll, you know, you might not even roll. Uh, mm -hmm. I know that for sure. I know some BJA schools and I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, it's because mm, I got it. Like you don't, yeah. okay. You pay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. You know, Cause it, and, it makes sense uh, on a business model. Like I get it. You have the money to invest, and yeah, I know you like what you're doing. You love it, but okay, all right. Well, this wasn't what I meant to come to. Thank you. <laughs> kind of like that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the prevalence of live rolling, and then the frequent competitions and tournaments that are available pretty much everywhere, at least in the United States nowadays, right? And then everywhere, <laughs> yeah, everywhere, and uh, it's all it's all over YouTube. Like you see people doing things, you you kind of like, yeah, I can't do that, you know, right? <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, that that's it's definitely not something that can get watered down to the same extent of like performing katas in a room with a bunch of other kids, just yeah. huh, huh, right? Um, so there's there's just too much evidence that can be found yeah about how you are in comparison to other people right yeah i'm i'm not a big and, and I've, I've done better mm -hmm. but <clears throat> i'm not a big uh man <clears throat> i am sorry uh i'm you know i'm not a big uh social media i'm not a big following i, I watch more youtube now than i ever have um <laughs> for obvious yeah, reasons right yeah for sure right <laughs> but uh so I, I don't, but that that's the best thing. Like, hey man, let's look and see what everybody else is doing. I mean, how, how does their how does their jujitsu class look? You know, how does their because there's there's man, the info's everywhere, right? So yeah, info's everywhere. Yep, and and I actually I kind of like the idea of having a wide range of different types of people being exposed to jujitsu. Meaning, like, I'm happy to have. The weekend warriors. Oh, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm happy to have the people that are showing up, and they just they want to train soft, get some exercise. They want to be low risk. They're they're there to socialize with some people. You know, I like it. Uh, I I like the integration of that type of person. I kind of like the integration of having some of the more traditional martial arts elements, but we still have like a wide range of different school types that, that it caters to everybody, yeah. right? It's just like such a, a wide ranging sport. There's all kinds of different schools. So I don't see any problem with it becoming soft in certain areas because then the people who need that, they'll we'll go, go there. there. They'll yeah. go there. <laughs> that's Listen, that was, the, uh, that, that was the reply I gave. I'm just like, hey, uh, I love that kid, but. May, maybe something else yeah that, right. that makes sense like yeah. uh yeah i'm cool with that like because it's it's hard you know it's mm -hmm. we, we are you know it's a little harder the way we do it yeah you know there isn't any flash um mm -hmm. you know we'll get a little bit but yeah, a little bit for my, my kids the little ones the eight-year-olds and our flash is the medals we win <laughs> like my bling <laughs> right listen that think about it's your son, no. <laughs> he got he he, he has does. a different he has a he has a belt with a piece of tape on it, but mine has a has, has a gold medal. It dangles, yeah, it's great. <laughs> that's and maybe that's I don't know. Yeah. I, I've been I've been reading uh, some stuff on you know um, 
confidence and air, you know, mm-hmm. that walk in that line of uh, not arrogance, but you know, just having confidence. You know, yeah, teaching right. kids confidence in what they do, and uh, especially competing. Mm-hmm. Um, almost, and it's fine. We can learn lessons and pull back. We were a little overconfident, mm-hmm. but man, how? What does it do when you're underconfident and you get smacked? Yeah, and and if this... you're overconfident and you get smashed, we can bring that back. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Yeah, I mean, and and like we keep saying, kids here, but yeah, you can you can almost yeah. always substitute that for adult. Yeah, no. Question. Almost always, and people people think they become an adult, and then all of these you know kid things happen. They're just it's just under different yeah. layers. Like that's that's all it is. You've built a structure around your mind, right? right? Your sense of self, and like it takes a little. It's a little harder to deal with uh, having your um, your views of yourself changed. Yeah. Right. Um, so it's if, okay. There are places for it. <laughs> yeah. And, and even myself personally, I don't think that I could have walked into our gym for my first class. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have stuck it. Yeah. Um, so I actually did one of those softer types of schools where really people didn't go above 50% except for a few people in the room. The, for the most part, everyone is moving very slow, and they're being deliberate, and that's that's great. It's perfect for for the people who are just starting. But hopefully, you know, if they they start there, they get some like perspective on where they're at, and and they can definitely stay there if all they're looking for is that. Yeah, no problem. But if they want, if they have bigger goals, then maybe maybe if you're really overweight and you've never done a sport in your life starting at an MMA school might not be the best idea that's that's good so <laughs> so so you 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 and the, that was me right so yeah. like i was i was like 250 pounds 5 foot 7 when i started and like i went through the progression like i started there and then i got person personal uh, uh, private lessons there and then I started like building and building and it was slow. And that's it's supposed to be slow if you're starting in that kind of spot. But then by the time I got to where we're training now, where the intensity is higher, there's more wrestling, there's there's hip throws, there's like all of all of it, right? I was ready for it. Yeah. But I cool. couldn't I couldn't have started at that step. And that's okay. So if that's the case then, you know, I, it becomes a little softer and because it becomes more accessible. Yeah. And then it, mm-hmm. you have that broad that broad base of the pyramid, right? Mm-hmm. And then you go to the next one and then the next one if, yeah. if that's your goal, right? I want to be the top triangle. Yeah. Well, not that's everyone. Why, not everyone. That's why I not can't ev- dress it up. No, that's the <laughs> battle, right? That's like, yeah. I, I'm in the constant battle with what I do. I'm, how many times have I talked to you back and forth about it? Like, do I, man, I make these things out. I give these kids these cards where they check in every day and I hit their check mark and every three months we go over through a belt. Like, do I need to do that? And then it's like, man, but I gotta, we're going to Abu Dhabi in a few weeks. Like, ah, I, (laughs) I'd rather plan out practices and do practices with a kid. Yeah. (laughs) And, and what's, what's crazy to me is that Mm. there are adults that have that system. You check in, you're like, okay, I've been at, I've been to 50 classes. Uh, I sat out for half the rounds, you know. <laughs> uh, the, I was going to get paired with this guy who beats me up really bad. I went to the bathroom instead. You know, like, yeah. like. No, but you got your. You, but you, you got you got your stripe. You, 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 yep, and you, then you then you then you paid your three hundred dollars to get your blue belt or whatever. Sense. So, I, I don't know. Like, there's there's a there's a middle ground, and I honestly think that the middle ground is probably choose the school that feels comfortable at the beginning upgrade if you feel you need to upgrade right yeah and jujitsu is about uh you know it's about life really like it's uh you can use it to to help develop you in so many ways you know so it's like get used there's there's levels like it's common Mm -hmm. if it's a hobby you're in like find that next step find the next step because you know starting there is fine that's awesome that's a great you have a a really good base you know you're going to get a lot of good fundamental work and then it's like okay now let's make it active and Mm -hmm. yeah and and that and like you don't have to immediately switch from your first school to your second. Yeah. You could just change the way you approach your training, oh, change awesome. the change the way that you approach how 
uh, responsible you are about building your physical attributes, right? Yeah. There's there's a lot of things you can do to kind of like nudge things in the direction of being tougher or harder or whatever word you want to use for developing what it takes to become a more well-rounded athlete, yeah. right? Um, so yeah, uh, just match your goals and intentions with what kind of school you select. I don't think that it's a problem uh, that jiu-jitsu is becoming softer because the top level is getting less soft. It's becoming more yeah. and more, you know, high level, high intensity. And the and the bottom is including more people at the base of the pyramid. And some of those people are going to filter the top. And no, that's, no that doubt. can only be good for jiu-jitsu. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. All right. Well, uh, we hope that you enjoyed this episode. Um, so... If you enjoyed it, like, share, comment. We read all the comments, and we will see you in the next video.